My name's Eric Johnson. I'm a veterinarian in Marietta, Georgia, making a video for my clients, trying to show them uh, a little bit about a knuckle bone, which is a form of dental exercise. It's literally a cow bone that is good for your dog to chew on. Um, there's a lot of different bones out there, and not every dog is suited for um, dental exercise from an actual animal bone. But uh, my dog Ajax is. Most of the medium to the large dogs are a Rottweiler or a um, uh, pit bull might have crushing jaws that could break a bone like that. You don't want to give your dog any bones really at that rate if he's got those kinds of jaws, but it might be worth a try. Little tiny dogs can eat a knuckle bone even though they're a fraction of the size of the knuckle bone. Nice thing about that is those little guys can't carry the bone under the sofa and let it rot. Um, they work on it just the same. The reason I think that the knuckle bone is perfect dental exercise is because it takes all of their teeth to work on it. Uh, first, it's, it's a sizable uh, chunk of bone. Second, it's really, really hard. Um, the condyles here are ever enticing to the dog. That's the little uh, um, knobby parts where the knee actually meets the uh, top of the tibia. There's little sinew and other things stuck on the bone, and then there's this uh, patellar groove that uh, is also nice. Mm. And uh, so they work their back teeth on this. Uh, long and the short of it is that getting the molars exercised is important. And with a bone this size, they have to go <coughs> and it works their back teeth. I didn't really do it. Um, however, there's a marrow cavity right here at the top of any knuckle bone. And that's where they work their front teeth because you can't work the back teeth to get the marrow cavity out. They have to go <coughs> like that and that works the front teeth. So the knuckle bone being very hard to break, lots of attractive surfaces, edges, and uh, hard, almost bone cartilage, uh, and working the back teeth and the front teeth makes this like the perfect dental exercise. So the purpose of this video is to tell you about knuckle bones, which now is my sole recommendation for animal, bone, animal bones for dogs, okay? Uh, again, reiterating that not every dog is made for knuckle bones. N knuckle bones aren't made for every dog, but uh, it's my recommendation, but you can't just toss a knuckle bone to most dogs. First, if your dog has a sensitive stomach, it might be a good idea to give him 30 minutes with a paired knuckle bone and then take it away from him so he's not sitting there literally eating on that bone all day. He could get diarrhea from that. The average dog could stand, start with a paired knuckle bone, could have that until he's finished with it, which literally will be days. Um, when they start wearing down the sides of the bone and it looks cleaned off and looks like just a yellow shell of the bone, then it's probably time to take it away. If they crack it, it's time to take it away. Um, you want this? It's Ajax. <laughs> he wants that bone. He'll get it too. He's gonna go boarding today and he's going to uh, Haven Dog Spot and uh, he's gonna get to take this with him. But, okay, so the last thing I wanna tell you about in this video regarding knuckle bones is you just don't give it to the dog because they come out of the package with uh, fat and sinew all over them. And what I wanted to show you is exactly how to prepare this for giving to your dog. Then, uh, once it's prepared, you give it to him.